We are live. And we are live again. And uh, this is Gabriel with ODE, Online Digital Education Mastery Group, Facebook community of educators, you know, ordinary people that collaborate and share information, share successes so that everybody can ascend and transition online in, in the most positive way possible with this, with your brain. You know, without the limitations and the fear of, you know, succeeding in your life. So today is Saturday and today is May 1st. We're done with April. And this is episode 122. And it's titled, Awareness is Key to Empower Your BS, Your Belief System. And I like that acronym, BS. It's not the bullshit one it is the belief system one so let me get you going with my full disclaimer please note that this is not for those who continuously make excuses or are expecting to get rich quick overnight there's no such thing here okay uh there's no false promises there's no false guarantees you know this is an opportunity to be part of a high quality mastermind that i'm a part of as well with ode online digital education mastery you know and i am a part of this community so that i can help you know and guide educators you know transition online and succeed and it takes work it takes commitment and it takes dedication so if this is not something that you're willing to put in i get that and then this is not for you it's not a problem and if you're looking to start and then quit you know so because you know this is this is something that takes work um then you're better off you know doing the same things that you're doing and this is definitely not for you and that's okay too not everybody who has a desire to want to change their bs their perspective in life you know uh want to succeed desire success not many people want to do the hard work and it does it takes commitment it takes work it takes dedication and it's no different than what we're already doing now the only difference is that you're doing it with a different bs and you have to be patient with yourself because success does happen when you duplicate success and that's that's the great thing about communities like this one and many others so let me give you a quote a very good quote by stephen r covey who was an American educator, author, businessman, and keynote speaker. And he is most popular, okay, for his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And he said, every human has four endowments, self-awareness, conscious, independent will, and creative imagination. And these give us the ultimate human freedom, the power to choose, to respond, to change. And this, this is very, very strong quote. You know, you got to understand you have that power to make choices. You have that power to respond to your actions and you have the power to change your life. But you have to believe that you can. And it's really, it boils down to just exactly that. You have to believe that you can. So the mind is a powerful thing. So let's talk about today's title. Awareness, which is key to empower your BS, your belief system. So on the previous post, I spoke about the difference between the fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. And I spoke about the first step to healing those negative thoughts about feeling low self-esteem, doubt, fear, hopelessness, or anything else, you know, the mind can think of. The first step to developing a growth mindset is called awareness. Yeah, awareness. In today's post, I want to continue sharing, you know, with you what I'm reading and learning from the Human Mind ebook. So let's give your inner fixed mindset persona a name because that's what we, where we left off a couple of days ago. We're going to give that, you know, alter ego that we have in our brain, we're going to give it a name. 
I will also take you through step number two, perspective, and step number three, action. So let's talk about awareness and the inner self-talk people have with themselves that causes fixed mindset triggers. Everyone has an inner voice, everybody does, which acts like our own personal critic, doubter, even our own personal hater. And you've heard the saying, we're our own worst enemy. We are, we are terrible to ourselves. Wow, those words suck and we truly start to believe them. That is our fixed mindset persona and we can hear ourselves having negative self-talk, oh my God, all day long like this. I will probably fail. I can't do this. I don't want to risk it. I'm not good enough. I should just quit. It's not my fault. This makes me uncomfortable. I'm not doing it. Why try if it won't change anything? How many of those negative vibes do we actually vibe with, right? We resonate, we recognize them. Well, we have these thoughts at a daily basis and that's just crazy. Can you say what your inner talk sounds like? That's a good question to ask yourself. And you know you can, write them down. Put them down on paper on your journal so that you can go back to it and be like, oh my God, did I actually say these things to myself? And this is a good practice, journaling your thoughts. Now, let's name this fixed mindset persona as a step one to healing ourselves. Naming it helps you remind yourself that this mindset or habit of thinking is not who you truly are. I called my fixed mindset persona El Cagón, which means Mr. Crappy, you know, for me. And I approach my fear of success with this kind of personal humor. So what will your name or what will you name your fixed mindset persona? What will you call that person in your brain that keeps causing you fear of something. Now that you have a name for your other self, you want to identify your triggers every time your persona wants to fill your thoughts with negative vibes. Therefore, ask yourself, what events trigger your named persona? When you're thinking about a big challenge or learning something new, what does your named persona tell you when you're in this situation? Yeah, those, these are valid questions to ask. And now you can ask that named persona that you have. Give it a name and then ask these questions. Ask that persona that question. So asking yourself empowering questions will help you start to understand and be aware of your thoughts. When you're thinking about making a change, when somebody criticizes you, when you fail at something, when something goes wrong, do you beat yourself up or blame someone else? When, something else makes, when someone else makes a mistake, do you judge them or criticize them? Do you procrastinate or are you feeling lazy? When you have a conflict with someone, when you worry what others will think about you, you know, being aware of your reactions will help you dispute the thoughts and ask yourself deeper questions to help you further. For example, ask yourself, how am I rationalizing or judging the situation? How am I beating myself up or blaming others? What is my name persona telling me? What, it, what, what is it telling me up here? So now, you can take the second step towards understanding your thoughts by having, number two, perspective. You may not always be able to change what happens around you, but you will always have a choice of how to respond, how to react, and how you view the situation. Ask yourself these empowering questions. What else might be going on here? 
You know, yeah, really. What is a more realistic or optimistic way to look at this situation? What are good aspects of this situation? How can I look at this differently? Reframing fixed mindset thinking as growth mindset thinking, <coughs> excuse me, will help you look out, you know, for things that you hear, your, your fixed mindset persona, you know, that's taking over your internal dialogue. So such as the reactions to the triggers you identified or the following common fixed mindset thoughts that you can change your perspective to a growth mindset. Yes, you can. So these are the things that you, you'll be listening to and how you can change it too. When you hear yourself thinking something like, what if you're not good enough? You'll be a failure. Change it to everyone starts out not being good and successful people all fail along the way. That's, a, that's actually true. When you hear your persona thinking, if I don't try, I can't fail and I will keep my dignity. Change that narrative to, if I don't try, I have already failed. And if I have, and I have no dignity. So if you don't make an effort, how are you gonna know? That's what it comes down to. So now go back through the triggers that you identified and what your persona tends to tell you and rewrite a new thought from the growth mindset perspective. Remember, you want to be able to write first, my fixed mindset trigger, that thought, and then you want to be able to write the replacement growth mindset perspective. And look at those and, and, and understand your, your positive side. Now, let's go ahead and tackle step number three, which is action. Have you noticed your fixed mindset persona thinking limited thoughts and, you know, you've changed your perspective? The action step is the most important and, in fact, is what truly makes someone have a growth mindset. The most important factor for developing a growth mindset is action. Take action. Ask yourself, what did you learn from the experience? What could you do differently next time going forward? What would help you achieve this goal that you haven't tried? What do you need to learn or what information do you need to gather? What steps will you take? Good questions to ask yourself as you are developing the growth mindset through action. List out what steps you will take. And for each one, identify exactly when you will do it. That's very important. If anything on your list cannot happen within one week, save it for later and reassess at the end of the week. Take five minutes to visualize yourself, okay? Taking each of these steps as you imagine, you know, how they're going to play out including achieving the goal and the outcome that you are aiming for. Practice a growth mindset with positive affirmations as well from the list below that I'm going to give you and put them somewhere where you will see them every day, such as next to your bed, on your mirror, your day planner, your computer screen, or even on your phone to remind you to look at them every day, at least once daily. Put them in a journal. Have it right next to you all the time on your bed or wherever you find some peace of mind. So let me give you some affirmations that will help you on a daily basis. Everyone has a fixed mindset to some degree. Now that I have, now that I know the difference and I know I can change, I am developing a growth mindset. You can repeat that several times a day and believe me, your brain will start to say, I like this. Challenges, risks, and failures do not reflect that I am a failure. They are opportunities for me to grow and improve. What other people think about me is none of my business. 
I no longer allow others or people's opinions and judgments to hold me back from living a life of fulfillment and reaching my potential. That's a good one. I move past the discomfort of making mistakes quickly because I learn the lesson and allow it to help me improve so that I can do better next time. Another great one. I know that no one starts out great at something. So I am willing to try new things and practice skills I would like to have. Putting in the time and the effort I know it takes to master this area. Or you can say, I am the master of my thoughts, emotions, and actions. And I do not give my power away by reacting to others' criticism, judgment, or actions in a negative way. I have skills and knowledge today that I didn't have be because I learned and grew in those areas. So I know I can develop any ability I want. If my talents, abilities, and intelligence are not fixed, this means my potential is truly limitless. So these are great affirmations to have and to read and to you know, affirm at a daily basis. My greater purpose is helping everyday people realize their magnificence with life coaching success. And I started my learning curve with a growth mindset. Yeah, last year in August 2020. And this knowledge and tools that you will need to achieve your success, it, it awaits you as well. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. REBT, Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, will help you realize your success in personal health, wealth, and make you wiser as you start to live a magnificent life of abundance. And you can manifest all of that with awareness. Remember, you're magnificent. I believe you're magnificent. You should too. Let me know. Leave a comment. Or come visit me right here. ODE, Online Digital Education Mastery. Facebook community of educators that collaborate and share with each other for their success. Or leave me a private message on Messenger. I help clients overcome their fears of success and launch their online niche business with a growth mindset and organic Facebook marketing as the primary ways to help you transition without quitting your daytime jobs because you don't have to do that. I look forward to seeing your success as well and interviewing you live on the ODE Mastery community. So remember, 688,000 people is my personal goal. You could be one of those too. So I'm signing out. My name is Gabriel. I make my own beer. I do. And today is Saturday, May 1st. This has been episode 122 titled, Awareness is Key to Empower Your BS, Your Belief System. Thank you so much for participating today. I look forward to answering your questions. You have a great day, and God bless.